Well, hello and welcome back and welcome to my kitchen. I'm, I'm Bill Jella Lawsuit and this is episode two of Cooking at Number 36. And when I say my kitchen, of course, I don't actually own a kitchen. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rambler. I'm a, not a gambler. I'm a, a, a troubadour, a, a itinerant, a peripatetic, yeah, I'm just wandering the earth, as it were, and I stay in clients' houses while they're away, and I, uh, I use their kitchens at their behest and goodwill, and that's not the right word, behest. I, I behest thee, use my kitchen, or I'll smack your asshole. No, no, look, um, this is a second in the series. Now, the first one was frightfully, I thought, frightfully, uh, um, what would you say, how would you categorize, typified, um, appellated? I'd say quick meal, I would say. It was we had shredded wheat, shredded wheat meal, and just a little dab of something. It's when we got nothing in the kitchen. Nothing. Nothing in the pantry. Well, I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this place has got everything. It has everything. There's three cupboards like this. So we are absolutely spoiled for choice. Now, the beauty of that is, yeah, oh, by the way, we're here in Paddington. We're here in Paddington. Now, the thing about Paddington is this. Uh, it's an absolute uh, conundrum wrapped in a um, paradox, topped off with a bit of mystery. And did I say conundrum already? There's four of them. But anyway, there's, you get the idea. It's absolutely, well, come out here. Come with me. Uh, that, that's my uh, chef's assistant. That's Neville. Say hello, Neville. It's not his real name, but I'd like to. Yeah, oh, here he is. Oh, okay. So before we go on, there's two lovely chappies next door. Uh, um, now, interesting. I, on the first day, I said, hello. I'm Bill Chella. Um, yeah, you, uh, yeah, uh, you know, see me sitting on the stoop coming over. And, and, and he looked at me like I'd just shat in his garden, actually. So uh, that was about the first. And, well, I saw the other chappy out in the street and had a very uh, 33.6 second chat. And, and that was the last. But first day, they're watering their plants and pucker me. And just suddenly all my washing was wet. It was a bit of a shame. Absolute. And the next day, they had the painters in. So to speak, not in the euphemistic, how would you say, uh, uh, metaphorical sense, but they had <laughs> actual real life painters in. Um, and so, um, yes, I walked out there and it had collapsed from the fumes, uh, and it's just been, yes, anyway, I haven't heard much from them. But out here, so that's them, um, but out here, out here, two doors down, at, uh, it, was, it was, I was, you said, we're 36 or 38, we're four, number 40, down there, two lovely people. Um, Russian uh, woman and uh, and uh, you know, lovely, 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 lovely um, husband, and uh, two gorgeous children, about ten and uh, about three, I'd say. And I love this. And, like she's Russian. Well, actually, no, she has, hasn't got a full-time job at the moment, so she's not in as much a hurry. But she is Russian by. Oh, 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 oh. Did you see what I did there? <laughs> Bill Chella. Uh, no, I'm. Um, she's teaching the children to speak Russian. So they go along to classes and actually learn to speak. We love it. Absolutely adore it. When um, yeah, we, uh, we have, we have, we have we, uh, the traditions uh, handed down, oral traditions, written traditions, we love it. It's part of folk and I'm so ecstatic to say that the moment that Australia's woken up to this because next year on the HSC they're going to have Aboriginal languages, indigenous languages of Australia on the HSC. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Gonski might be a little bit Gonski, but at least somebody has gone to the education departments federally. Actually, federally, federally, we are, we are standing at the moment. Actually, I don't know whose ground we are on. I don't know which elders, but uh, which indigenous people, but I know that we're in the electorate of Malcolm Turnbull, who's the current prime minister. And I say current because I don't believe that was only a temporary position. You know, I call him the temporary prime sinister. Anyway, okay, so anyway, um, look, uh, we'll just, uh, another thing about this uh, seat of Wentworth, as I told them last night, they weren't aware of that. Um, the people, lovely, lovely, lovely people. It's so nice. They're coming out for drinks and a bit of a chat and had a glass of wine and then another glass of wine. Um, I'm sure we solved the problems of the world, but it'll come back to me eventually. All right, so yeah, out, out here we have people that don't know how to recycle. I have more to say on this in, in other media, but, but the man will just say that Paddington, well, Lara, you need a good slap with wet fish, uh, really hard. Goodness me. A uh, good hard slap with wet fish because you don't know how to recycle. Well, a lot of you don't. I, I, well, let's have a quick look. There's, time does get away. We can't be going on forever. Okay, look at this. Look at this. This was down number 32. 
They threw this out about a week ago. I rescued it and uh, 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 how would you say I uh, uh, washed it once and there was a bit of a stain, admittedly. So it got some uh, some of that product dye sand. Soaked it in that for about a day. And now it's beautiful. I go 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 sell that to you know one of those uh, osh kosh bigosh, I'm so pretentious, my shinola does not stink, sort of boutique things. Because oh god, Jason Nigel. Smithington, Farnsworth, Bannington, Potts Point, wannabe cannot be seen dead in anything less than Ralph Lauren. Okay, I'm just going to get over myself a bit now. Goodness me. It's ten past seven in the morning. And uh, look, that's very interesting that the clock's on that sort of a tilt. Um, Best not to be going there. All right, over here. This is breakfast. Now, last time we met, I was talking about when you were absolutely famished and you've got nothing to, uh, nothing in the house, but you've got something. And then we, we had some, uh, lots of fun with um, um, shredded wheat meal. Now, this, today, we have much more time in each other's company. So let's, let's have a quick look at the ingredients. I just, I've just gone to the pantry and selected some ingredients, but it really, some of these are a little bit Paddington, I must say, but don't be put off by that, you know? Good old, well, yes, Woolworths, well, maybe not, but anyway, celery, go to a grocer's. Armani's out of Maryland, so lovely, lovely people. Armani's, Ardani, Ardani, not, no, no, it's Armani, it's Ardani, it's Ardani. one's a builder and one's a, a family-owned greengrocer. Go and check them both out. Okay, so, a bit of barbecue sauce, very Aussie. Aussie, 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 yeah, a bit of barbecue sauce. Yeah, can you put barbecue sauce on me egg and bacon roll, but can you smoosh it into the bread? Because I don't like the fucking thing dripping all over me bloody work gear, you know? Just, just not good. Look, oh, yeah, <laughs> maybe it has. <laughs> I don't remember that stain. <laughs> all right, now, granulated nuts, that's especially for lovely Clementine Ford. Um, she's been uh, social media uh, writing lots lately about male-female divide. And I, I, I can't say I agree with everything she does. My gosh, she, she's got some, mm, well, not granulated nuts, but she, 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 she does granulate the nuts of others. And I, all I say is bravo for being a catalyst. She's a bit extreme, I, I think, in just a couple of things. But she's a jolly, jolly smashing catalyst for conversation about gender issues. Hot chili sauce. Uh, now, this you may not have. Pink lake chili salt. Not everyone's got pink lake chili salt. But, you know, just, just a little bit of this. Like, you wouldn't put your processed salt in it. It's extra salt. Now, that's just, that's heart attack on a plate. But, um, but yeah, pink lake chili salt. Or the Himalayan pink salt. Yeah, yes, 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 yeah, right. This product, no kale has been killed in the making of this product. Okay, tomato sauce, okay, that's triple three, but you can just use your home brand or whatever. And uh, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and we love the Worcestershire sauce, and the wing gives it absolutely beautiful flavors, anchovies. 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 Oh, Lauren, that night at the cockpit in Bruny Island. <laughs> cockpit on Bruny Island. Check it out. It's, um, well, they've got um, lovely rugs and throw pillows and a hammock and a, and a toy box. <laughs> I'm not making this up. And a lovely spa outside. And then they've got a little uh, comments book. And I've got to tell you now, the comments book is um, is not X-rated. It's not triple X. It's five X's. Smashing stuff in there. Everyone contributes to the, you know, what they've gotten up to with the toy box. <laughs> this one woman, frightfully, frightfully funny, she said, well, I didn't know about the reputation of this place and I've come on my own, but I'm happy to say that I've... <laughs> well, she pleased herself. Okay, now, a bit of soy sauce. Uh, again, a little bit of salt, but not too much. Now, this, I don't know what this is, but I've put a few leaves in there. Um, I, unfortunately, when I went to grab it, I grabbed it right there. And as you can see, there's a, well, I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to call it Spiny Fuckers. And uh, hopefully that'll heal sometime soon. Now, this is just um, off the lovely, lovely little, how would you say, on the balcony. There's just a few little pots. And so, so I think we've got, um, uh, uh, I've got no idea. I think there's some mint. Uh, I don't know what endives are. I went to the endives actually once with, um, I think it was with Lauren. No, no, no. Was it the endives or the maldives? Maldives. I wish Mal dive. I wish Mal from Turnbull would dive off a high platform with no water in there. No, moving on. Uh, of course, uh, garlic, poor men's penicillin. I have that in almost everything. Celery. I, I've actually become a, a bit of a, a fan of celery. Um, uh, 
I had a bit of cognitive dissonance about salary because when I was a young child in England, uh, it was 1978, it was 1979, went to Bristol to watch Arsenal play against Bristol City and people were in the stands talking about salary. And I thought, what's all that about? It wasn't until many years later, I was only a young child of 12 then in Bristol, but um, many years later I found out that Chelsea Football Club has this rather interesting song which goes along the lines of this. Celery, 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 celery. If she don't come, I'll tickle her bum with a bunch of celery. Yes, that's Chelsea Football Club for you. And yeah, so there's the remnants of the onions and the yeah, celery and the, 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 the bit of garlic. I've actually thrown in <laughs> McKenna. Now, I was going to do a whole thing about McKenna, um, Dauer Echbert, who are in uh, lovely Kingsgrove, actually, which is my sort of home base, if I home base could be said to be had. A lovely storage shed there at Kennards. We'll speak a lot more about Kennards between now and the next election. Mm. Here's a little interesting fact. If you go around blowing off at the horn, <laughs> so to speak, or if you go you know, recommending somewhere, maybe look into the background of the owner a little bit more. So, hello, Sam Kennard potential Lib Democrats <laughs> moving right along, some Californian walnuts. Yeah. <laughs> a one Waldorf salad. Did you know that Faulty Towers, they're talking about having a stage show at Faulty Towers, and some frightfully stuck up assholes on social media saying, oh, no, 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 nothing good can come of it. Oh, why don't you go and wipe yourself? All right, and so I've crushed up some, uh, there's a lovely little rice crackers in there, uh, some carrots. Uh, oh. That's lavender soap, that's for afterwards. And the main ingredient here, now, there's a whole story about bassa, about whether that's a good thing or not. Well, I'm just going to say, I don't mind it and they're cheap. So, here we are. This has been cooking up quite nicely now for, I'd say, over an hour, maybe an hour. And because there's so much wine and there's a lovely reduction with all those tastes that we have down there, by the time that the, I'm ready to either serve this up as just uh, yeah, 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 reduced down to its you know, compound parts, it's fairly dry, or I serve it up as like a gumbo type thing, that is a smashing breakfast. And not only that, but you can turn up to work absolutely stonkered. And when the boss says, bloody hell, Bill Jilly, you smell like a fucking brewery, you can say, I've just had breakfast, fuck off. And uh, of course, before then, I've got some lovely bread and some cheese because I think I'm going to let that cook for another hour or so. But the main ingredient, ladies and gentlemen, as we finish off and try not to go over the storage limit, the Aussie white wine. Here's your bloody cooler bar, five litre pack for 11 bucks down at BWS. Go and ask for Dennis there at the BWS on Oxford Street. Just a, a lovely chap. If you go to my, or not to my, if you go to Bill Quinn's website, the Overhead Productions, what you'll find is the very first um, article is about a lovely, lovely band called Limited Headspace. And, and it was written actually while well, sitting outside the store late one Saturday night about, um, it was last Saturday, was it? Yeah, goodness me, time does fly. Um, so, um, Yes, uh, Saturday last, so uh, whatever the last Saturday in November was. Um, yes, and um, so yes, cool bar wine cast for 11 bucks when some silly woman's going to take in a quarter of your salary because she thinks there's a problem. We love the people who think, I thought you took my keys. Well, we know what Think did, didn't he? Think stuck its head up somebody else's arsehole and <laughs> took away a quarter of their salary. We're not going to dwell on that much because we have got legal processes that we can go through. Look, I'm going to tuck into a bit of bread and a bit of chowder. Get it up. And uh, look. Ah, uh -huh. very beautiful. Uh, this, is, this is Bill Jello lawsuit saying, thank you for watching Cooking at Number 36. Good morning.